Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in my series creating a Minecraft clone in C Sharp using the OpenTK graphics library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic window. Uh, so it's very simple in OpenTK since we don't have to use any other libraries like uh, GLFW or anything like that. Um, it actually comes in, comes with its own uh, window creation functionality. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go to OpenTK here and we want to create um, a new a file here we're going to do add new item and i'm going to call this game.cs and this is going to be our actual game and here we want to um, create our game window with the constructor so um, for that we're going to need some imports first off we're going to need uh, five imports i believe these are just open tk so if you want to go ahead and pause and uh, write these down just open tk graphics open gl4 mathematics windowing common uh, windowing desktop all this stuff um, and that should be all that we need for now um, and then in this class here we're going to go ahead and inherit from the game window class here um, and now we're going to have a little error here and this error is basically saying there is no argument given that corresponds to the requirement parameter basically saying that we need to have a constructor that gives the game window settings and the native window settings. So let's make a constructor. I'm going to go ahead and create a constructor here. I'm going to call it public game. And then in our constructor for our own game class, we're, we're going to take the width of our screen and the height of our screen. And then to an, um, for the base constructor, we are going to um, just do game window settings dot default and native window settings dot default and then in the uh, constructor of our game here we're just going to specify the uh, width and the height so we need a way to store these into variables so I'm just going to create some variables in our instance field here I'm going to put a little section for constants this basically just means that they will never ever be changed um, so private static um, int screen width and this is probably temporary because we are eventually going to want to be able to change the screen width and screen height. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it as one, uh, just, just for simplicity purposes. So now uh, screen width equals um, width and screen height equals height. Um, and now all we have to do is um, we can we can basically center it on our screen. This isn't required, but you probably want your program to open with it being in the center. So um center the screen on your monitor so we can just say this dot center window um and then all we need to do in here is we need to send it a um a vector two with the width and the height so um since the width and the height are integers we're doing that new vector two i width and height and intellisense is insane because it predicted that i wanted to write that that's pretty insane um, so that's pretty much all we need to actually create the window, but now we need a way to um, basically create this constructor here uh, for this. So in our program CS here, uh, we're going to create a new class. This is going to be our entry point. This program CS is going to be our entry point to our game here. Um, and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're using the right namespace, namespace, and then open tk minecraft clone tutorial series it should autofill for you but it's the name of your project with underscores um, and then we need to create the class i'm going to do class program and then here we need the main method so we're doing static void main with a capital m string args this is our main method this is where it's going to our entry point is going to be uh, and then we're going to say using game game equals new game and then we need our screen width and our screen height. I'm going to do 500 by 500 for why not? And then game.run. This is a method inherited from our game window. So there we go. Now we have our um, game, our game completely, our entry point set up for our game. So now you'll see if we click build, build solution, we have zero errors. And now we can start it up and we have a window and it's centered in our screen. So there you go, uh, it all works out. All right, so that's the basic window setup. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you um, the basic setup for your OpenTK game structure, as well as um, some resizing functionality and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, all right.
Thank you for watching and goodbye.